I received my package today from DHL and I basically got some hair from Yvonne and it came with my hair and some eyelashes so this is like a mini little unboxing and then the DHL bag and then it came with some packages but I'm walking and talking because I'm actually about to bleach the knots on my frontal and dye my bundles like a nice kind of off blackish color so I have a little setup going on here I'm about to do it real quick because my cousin's over and I want to go outside and have fun because it's hot so I'm gonna play on the water side like a child but it's gonna be fun um I got kinky Carly hair from Yvonne I got an 18 inch bundle and two twenties yeah and two twenties however when I ordered my hair I realized that they sent me an extra bundle I think I paid for the extra bundle I didn't realize it but I have to check but I ended up getting two twenties and two 18 inch bundles Ooh, I'm dropping stuff and a frontal and it's the Yvonne kinky curly texture uh, I've taken one of the 20s out of the bag and it's really nice um, it's good quality hair the packaging is cute it just comes in a standard plastic bag that says Yvonne on the front um, Word ear, so um, I can't pronounce this word in Chinese, but basically the place, the area in China that it's from, and the website is www.hywig.com. So the packaging looks like I'm in my toilet. Yeah. This is the setup. I have my white tooth comb to clear out the hair. My bottles of Ardon off black purse scissors to cut the top part. This is what the packaging looks like. And then it tells you the length, kinky curly, one B, you've won. And then this is my front door. I'm using Thrive Volume Developer. And I'm going to use one packet first. And then if I need the other packet, I'll use the other packet. But I'm only bleaching knots. I'll save the other packet because I do plan on coloring this hair. Just not at this point because my job right now doesn't um, permit me to have colorful hair. So I'll do it afterwards. I have two more weeks left, so it's fine. And I'm going to use some foil to process the bleach and the hair dye. I'm going to leave it to sit for a while. And that is it. So I'll check back in a bit. Alright, so when you're doing the mixture to bleach a knot, you want to make sure that it's not a very um, loose texture, if that makes sense. A consistency is what I'm looking for. So you want to make sure your mixture is not a watery, liquidy consistency. You want to make sure it's nice and thick. And I started to mix it, but then I realized that um, it was like too little bit of an amount. So I added some more powder and some more developer, but you want it nice and thick like that when you have it off the brush because once you're applying it to the frontal you don't want it to seep through the lace because then you're gonna have roots that are gold and that is the mistake I always 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 make because I either leave it to over process or it's too watery and it seeps, it seeps through through the lace to the roots so you don't want blowing roots basically nice and thick like that and when you apply it onto the frontal you want to make sure that you're not pushing it through so you want to lightly dab it on the frontal and I'm dragging it which is not the best idea because that's when it ends up going through the lace but you just want to place it on top basically because that's the only part that you want to get bleached um, I am still working on my technique when it comes to this but I had to kind of drag it a little bit to stretch it because my mixture wasn't enough and I really didn't want to use the rest of the bag of that powder of bleach so yeah, but this is basically it and when you're finished the foil helps to process it faster so you can place the foil over it. Um, I also put foil over my hair when I color it because it just helps it to process faster. 
but this is simple this time around I'm very careful when I bleach my knots because I've always had the mistake of over processing my closures of frontals so I would check it every five minutes because the stronger the developer the faster the bleach takes effect so I just waited about five minutes um, I dyed one bundle and by the time I was finished dyeing that bundle I checked the hair and it was ready to go so remember the stronger the developer the faster the process is gonna go so definitely make sure you keep an eye on it it's best to check than to just leave it and find out um, 15 20 minutes later that you left it too long and your whole thing needs to be dyed over again instead of bleaching your closure you can also tint it but that's a whole nother subject This is my braid pattern it's going all the way back. Um, I noticed my braiding has gotten better. However, I uh, washed my hair, did a deep treatment with my Shea Moisture Tan in One Renewal System thing, and um, used my Lock Method. My leave in conditioner was the Shea Moisture Jamaican Castor Oil Leave In Stuff, and my oil, I have my mixture as always is my Jamaican black, Jamaican black castor oil, um, um, avocado oil, tea tree oil, and something else in there. But that's my new mixture for uh, this time that I mixed it together. I use my Shea Moisture Smoothing Cream, the um, pink container, and I cupped the Jamaican black castor oil eco styling gel and I'm so excited because I'm dying to try it so I got that and I used that to do my hair which is why it's white and I noticed when I braid it like this and it's still kind of wet it um, poofs up a little bit but this is as flat as it's gonna get my edges need to be sorted out but I'm not worrying about that as long as everything is flat this is my first attempt at a Serbian and I just braided my hair in the back. Oop. This is what it looks like in the back. So this part is my leave out and as you see it's not there. That's the world, that's my leave out. This is my sand down part. And don't mind if it'll stick up. I am just going to attempt to sort out my frontal. I'm going to um, measure my frontal from ear to ear, cut some slits in it, see where it is. Um, slow sew this elastic band from around my head and do it really tight so that it lays really flat. Then I'm going to sew from the middle of my frontal to my ear part, sew on this braid here and then sew the elastic band to my braid and tuck it so that the frontal lay is flat because I don't want the sideburns. I'm gonna leave a little bit of my sideburns out as well as this back part. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. So I'll let you know how it goes. And then I'm gonna sew my bundles. This is my first attempt doing my own sewing. So we're gonna see how it goes. I just know it's gonna be stressful. Braiding my hair was stressful and I'm completely tired today. 
I'm a miserable guys, but anyway, <laughs> I will let you know how it goes. So this is one bundle and a frontal done, or at least a bundle almost done. <laughs> and this is one frontal and one bundle done. Um, my braids are very messy, but like I said, I've only just taught myself how to braid my hair and I can't quite figure out how to grip to get them to lay flat and um, doing it myself is definitely an easier process. However, I'm still teaching myself, so that's why it looks uh, my braids look messy, but it doesn't matter what my braids look like. The only issue is that they're not very strong of an anchor, so it, that, I think that's why my whole frontal process didn't work how it was supposed to, but in the end, it ended up working out. And when I sit on the last bundle, I attach my last tracks, my last wefts, to the frontal so that everything will pull tight. Okay, so this is how it came out. Um, <sighs> Alright, so this is how it came out. I need to definitely tie it down because as I did my frontal, I got the elastic band and I think I still left the elastic band. I'm just sitting here on top of it because as soon as I cut it, it loosened. And I think as I stitched it, it pulled back. This side is manageable. manageable. I put the got to be glued on it, but I've been using the clear got to be glued, and it doesn't work as nice as the um, black got to be glued, which is the clear one. But I've been using the yellow bottle, so eh. But yeah, um, that's annoying, and it's definitely pushing back. But with the baby hairs, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. It's just that if I pull, if I brush this part back, my hairs can come back. But for my first sewing, I'm actually pretty happy. It's laying flat. As you see, it's no lumps and bumps all over the place. And it kind of worked, brother. Yeah. <laughs> it actually kind of worked okay. I showed you a close up with the baby hair. It's not that big of a deal. However, if I'm brushing my hair back or if I move the front, it's all going to come back. And I tried to braid it. Um, I tried to stitch it on the braids coming this way since I have it braided straight back, but because my front is short, my, like, you know how when you braid your hair, they creep out, so the front part is creeping out, so my braids start, like, back her or back her or back her, so not very helpful, it's nothing to really hold it down, so I just have to glue it and find something to get it to stay, but this is it for now, and I will do a review later, the hair is very soft, the hair shed a good bit. Um, but I just think it's because I dyed it and I bleached the nuts, but it's still thick. Um, I accidentally kind of sewed um, a top tracker down her or something, so it's kind of that's why this little thing is her because it's like sewing under another piece, and I just need to fix it. But can't bother right now. I started my hair at ten o'clock, and it's like just going seven, and I'm just finishing like all the little details. So. 10 o'clock this morning, all the way to 7, but mind you, I had to wash my hair, braid my hair, stitch my hair down, and then do all of this. So yeah, note to self, my frontal is not laying flat, it's definitely gonna buckle, however, I will work on it. So next time, I need to make sure my frontal is flat, but sewing in the bass was pretty easy, surprisingly. I thought it was gonna be complicated and like a big mess, but it wasn't, so that's very, very good. But I'm really upset that my frontal is messed up. Like I would have rather my wafts be messed up than my frontal be messed up because I put on the elastic band and it was laying flat. It was nice and tight and as soon as I cut it, it gave me. And I had stitched it first before I cut it. So I just, I don't know, I couldn't pull and stitch at the same time. Plus I have my nails done and obviously you see black dye on it because I dyed the hair. Um, I used the Adorn Off Black, you saw that or whatever. 
so yeah a bit annoying but my nails got in the way and I couldn't really grip and my hair is nothing to really secure the frontal width because my braids are not where they're supposed to be but it's okay baby hairs make up for a lot of stuff so I'm pretty surprised um I left my back a little part out of my hair but it's not enough coverage to put my hair up so I don't know why it's out not that it's out so I might put a track down there but that's it so I will see you guys later